hey guys welcome back to my channel how y'all doing how y'all feeling what y'all got going on today is december 6th and it's 9 40 in the morning y'all can see the date right all right let's see what's on pandora mm -hmm. Let's see what's on Pandora. It's where he, where he wanna be. Wanna love you, wish you, and let you go. Yes, how y'all doing? How y'all feeling? How was your night? Thank you for stopping by. Like, share, and subscribe. Thank you for all my new subscribers. Um, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, let's get into it. So on in the club, they gonna be like, damn, that's hot. Okay, let's get a card. Let's pull some energy and see what it's looking like. Today feel, you know, pretty good. It's kind of gloomy and damp outside, so just kind of going with the flow. I feel like there is definitely a sister here, though, who is jealous of another sister. And I don't even think it's so much so jealous. I just feel like... That sister wants attention, you know? And they just be giving the other sister a hard time. You know what I mean? But yeah, that's all. Everything feel pretty good. Finally see it. Oh, this could be a sister who don't like the sister's person and you know this is fihu um this is um your foundation your home um your structure 222 when i said that your structure so something could be going on with the home just the rebound so out of pocket Oh, girl, you need to stop it. Um, maybe there's a lot of conflict in the home at this time. Or y'all could be having a lot of internal conflict um, within self. Um, a lot of insecurities creeping in. This could be a divine masculine or this could be your masculine and feminine. And you want to be more in your feminine. But you, know, you feel like you have to be more masculine at this time. Um... What else? Um, a lot of concern. Maybe you have a lot of concerns for your home right now. Maybe there's something going on. Maybe you have a lot of bills. Maybe your foundation is rocky. You could have had an incident within the home that's causing a lot of chaos and drama. You could have been fighting in the home. Um, this could be a Pisces. What else do I see? Pisces. Um, oh, shit. Pisces. Um, what else? A lot of conflict. I think it's just more so internal conflict. Like you're shadow boxing with yourself at this time. You're really trying to get some ground. And I don't know what happened between last night and yesterday, but, you know... A lot of y'all are just conflicted. I believe y'all got a um, message or somebody might have said something to you or try to address you on some type of shit and you took it harshly. You f you're feeling real defensive. You're feeling real attacked. You're feeling real um, bothered. You know what I mean? So, yeah, let's put this away. If you ain't gonna love you the way you should, then let it go. Okay, what else? Yeah, feeling stuck. Some people could be in school, you know. Oh, they feel like they've been being loyal to the wrong cause. Um, Where's the box? I thought I saw it over there. Let's get one of these. Oh, let's read. Let's read. Let's read. Yeah. Somebody feeling real competitive. They don't know, like 
how to just be more adaptable at this time. They could be stressed out about school. This could be someone who is getting married. Um, what is this? Love you like I did. This could just be a divine masculine who's concerned that he cannot reconcile. But we've been getting this. I was trying to like give it to y'all all around. Like deep down they know they need to speak up. They trying to manifest you and it's like driving them fucking crazy. Oh, some lady tried to come for me in the comments yesterday. I was, yo, I was going to get her ass. I promise you I was. <laughs> I was going to eat her ass up. Eat that ass up. Y'all could be watching Wild and Out. Y'all could have went to that Wild and Out concert. Oh, Nick Cannon, I hope he's feeling better because he have got rushed to the hospital, I think, like, right after or even, or maybe the next day to the hospital. He had pneumonia. So, yeah, be careful out there. Keep yourself warm and drink lots of fluids, lemon juice with turmeric, honey, and honey. Listen, that should knock anything out on smash up a lick of garlic or ginger, whatever. I put the garlic and the ginger. You heard me? Okay. Anywho, this could be just a masculine who's going crazy, you know, like really stuck in his mind, mentally trapped, um, realizing like he was in a facade this whole time. Like the people who were loyal to him were not. They weren't no way around. Those, all those people were frauds. And this person is definitely drowning in emotions at this time. And um, talking about, oh, listen, anyway, screw that lady. But yeah, somebody's definitely in their emotions, possibly all up in their head. This could be a water sign with air in their chart or whatever. They could have a moon. Um, they could have a moon in Pisces or moon in... Um, Aquarius, you know, so yeah, let's get back to this card. It means, um, livestock structure, the home. This rune is associated with the home and family, with abundance, wealth, and fertility. We live in a moment of well being, and this makes us more confident and strong. Ideal conditions for realizing our dreams, family, and our possessions are a starting point rather than an end point. And we have to, um, we have the stability needed to organize the future and expand our horizons. Our actions are well thought out and dedicated, dictated, my apologies, dictated by calm and foresight. The moment has come to reflect upon the center of our life. What have we achieved and what are we missing? What is precious to us and needs to be protected? What must we do to grow further? Fihu makes us strong and helps us build something long lasting this all goes back to what i said in the beginning i feel like some of y'all are feeling like um conflicted internally though like a little insecure and this goes back to i said i feel like it's a, a com conflict between the you know the shadow and the dark is like you try to go is you're trying to balance it but it seems like you have to be in defense most something could have happened somebody could have said something you could have found out some information and you want to be in your more softer side but you feel like you always have to be headstrong um authoritative um practical um action no nonsense aries energy type you know what i'm saying But this just could be some insecurities that's stemming from deep within. Y'all still need to do a little bit of healing because whatever triggered y'all in between the past, you know what I'm saying? Or this could just be new energy. I could just, this could be my new subscribers who, um, you know, just having a little issues like getting it together. But welcome, you're here and you're going to get some healing. So thank you for stopping by. And, um... We're going to try to help you. Very ambitious, but just very competitive and conflicted and not realizing. I feel like this is a five of wands energy. More so like, um, you know, like, like just feeling like you have like shadow boxing and shit, but you fighting yourself. You ain't fighting nobody. Anytime I see the five of wands, especially in the um, crystal um, tarot for me, well, that's what it means. It means um, conflict, chaos, but you're fighting yourself. All the, the lions on the 
the lions and the humans are fighting and they're roaring just because of their ego and they're not even realizing like we all are own individual people we could we could do whatever we want to do nobody is yet the same you see what i'm saying so yeah just remember that you are set apart from the rest nobody in this world has the same fingerprint okay even twins nobody has the same so everybody is different i mean very different no don't and I, this goes back to yesterday watching people don't watch nobody and think oh they they doing better or whatever the case no do not watch nobody watch yourself worry about yourself you know and remember the the house could be your foundation your structure your your vessel your body your health your strength maybe some of y'all not feeling good in your body maybe if some of y'all woke up sick maybe y'all throat is hurting goggle with some salt water you know what i'm saying drink your liquor turmeric with ginger listen i will put the turmeric with the ginger with the lemon with the um mint i will mix all of that shit up and then coat it off with honey first take a little honey taste that like spoonful and then you know what i'm saying make tea and then just keep drinking that and then keep drinking mad water water flush whatever toxins you have in your body no matter what you see what i'm saying all right let's keep going I ain't going to try to make this long because I got a lot of shit to do today, y'all. A lot of stuff. Y'all could have a lot to do. Just handling y'all business. Yeah. Some of y'all could be trying to manifest. Some of y'all could be doing candle magic at this time. And this is... Oh, yeah. Tomorrow's the moon. Yeah. Spirit. Some of y'all being initiated. But we said that in like two readings ago. What's this cutting it? Yeah, y'all have a responsibility. A lot of y'all highest priestess, y'all intuition, y'all listening to y'all intuition, y'all going within. But then some people are conflicted and they feeling like nothing is not happening. So they feel like they're being hexed, but nah, it's all in the mental. Mind over matter. And that's another thing. Your self-esteem. What is bothering you? What are your triggers? Why do you keep being triggered? You need to figure that out. Deal with that, heal that, and make it through. Some of y'all could be using candle magic. Maybe some of y'all need to get candles. I see a pink one, a yellow one sticking out real distinct. Think a red one, a green one, a purple one, a lavender one. Yeah. Some of y'all could read bones. And y'all don't y'all not trusting y'all. And look, didn't I say I saw the power out here? Yeah. Or maybe I said it earlier. Yeah. Candles. Some of y'all could be doing y'all rituals for tomorrow for the full moon, manifesting. Some of y'all could be making candles. Um, and maybe y'all feel a little stuck. Maybe, you know, y'all going to school for this type of thing and y'all just feel like it's too much of a struggle. You feel like you're not able to create what it is that you need because you need to let, you know, the, 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 the masculine is the one who executed. So you need to put that feminine back in, that softness. You feel what I'm saying? The nurturing part of it. The love. Not saying the masculine ain't love, but you know, there's a balance. Second day on the cleanse, y'all. How y'all doing? Did y'all do it? Better Khalid. Let's listen. Hope I don't get copyright. I don't all rights. <laughs> but um, this is what I'm saying. This guy, he's sitting down. He's sitting down. You know? So this could just be a masculine. A new subscriber who is, you know, just going through it. Just a little concerned. Trying to figure out how to be more softer. And you know what, Divine Masculine? If you want to be more soft and be more in your feminine and you feel like you're just too hardcore not saying that's bad or you're just you know you just want or maybe you just want a feminine but to attract something you have to be that as well you feel me so go get you a pedicure men get pedicures go get you a massage go get you a manicure you see what i'm saying yeah go get you a facial my homeboy i had this homeboy right he did not play around whenever he came in the shop them ladies was like yes yes he was like fucking royalty in me and he would even get clear and that nigga was a real g he had his gun on his clip like what <laughs> 
say something, do something. So, yeah, I feel like this is a divine masculine. You know, they looking for loyalty. They could have got cheated on recently or broke up with somebody they really cared about or just, you know, had a little sneaky link that was sneaking with other things and shit. And really and truly, not all men cheat. Not all men cheat. You know what I'm saying? There's some good men out there. They just get the wrong pick. Just like us women, we get the wrong pick. And that's why we have to do the work in order for us to definitely come together because we have lessons and seasons that need to be learned and go through before we can get to union. But I did see a wedding too. I saw a wedding. Like somebody could be getting married at the time and that's where that conflict come with the sister. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? That's where that conflict come with the sister. And then I was also picking up too that there could be like a stepbrother type thing, but they not really related where the stepbrother was dating somebody, right? Now the family he was living with, the brother is secretly dating that girl, but nobody knows. It's like secrets out here and you know, it's just a lot of, conf not confusion, but a lot of, uh, um, like, throw chakra activity. Like, somebody needs to speak up. Then again, there's somebody who's trying to manifest back a situation like we've been seeing for a couple of weeks now. You know, a king of cups, that Pisces energy. So, yeah. Destinies are definitely fluid. So it's all about like just, you know, taking some time, set back. And Divine Masculine, if this is a Divine Masculine, go by the water. Go by the water and just sit there and talk. You know what I'm saying? Go try to talk to your mother, your sister, your auntie if they're still alive. Um, go just talk to a friend. Or shit, email me. I'll talk to your ass. Shit, but don't come with no creepiness because I ain't with all of that now. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah i don't mind talking to people i just don't like my time wasted look ooh, tell me what you want see and and then again some of y'all could just be happy i saw the moon goddess yeah y'all balancing out y'all money and shit everything looking on the up and up this could be just for like a one or two first people with the whole, you know. Or this could just be y'all getting sexy. You know what I'm saying? This could be y'all getting your house ready, lighting candles, um, putting up your decorations. Because y'all see all the colors. You know, the holiday coming. These could be lights too, Christmas lights. Yeah, some of y'all just getting into the holiday spirit. And I'm glad for that because, remember, I did tell y'all, y'all, some of y'all were... That's what I was feeling like. Some of y'all wanted to do a lot for the Christmas, but y'all feel like because y'all on this path. And let me tell y'all, y'all on this path, it's your own journey. Yeah, you can listen to other people and see their recommendations on how they do certain things and what they do. And, you know, but always research and then still do what you want to do. You see what I'm saying? You don't have to follow what nobody else is doing. Everybody's shit is right for them. So don't. Like I said, don't watch what nobody else is doing. Do what it is that you want to do. Do what it is that make you happy. Happiness comes from within. And a lot of people don't know that. They think it's money and material, and it's not. Because at the end of the day, you could have, you could be sitting in a big-ass fucking mansion in the middle of the fucking pool floating with money galore. I would say 500 to 5,500,000 5, square feet. 19 bedrooms, 12 bathrooms, movie theater, tennis court, basketball court, and you could have a house packed of people and you could feel like you're the only one in the world, okay? So do what makes you happy. Nobody else can make you happy. And if you feel like another person is going to do that for you, you still got work to do. You have to be able to sit by yourself in order to... You know, be better for somebody else. You got to love you first, point blank, period. Share. I remember she said, um, a man is an accessory, okay? Not trying to be funny, but think about it. Once you have put yourself together, your man is an accessory. He makes you just look even better, but he doesn't 
to find you. You know what I'm saying? It's not like if he's not around, you're not going to shine. No, he's just an accessory. It's like your pocketbook, your lipstick, your clothes you're wearing, your jewelry, your hair. You know what I'm saying? Your shoes. But that don't make who you are as a person. Yeah, some of y'all could be doing moon magic. A lot of y'all need healing from these fucking third parties. Or maybe whatever you're working on, you need to heal from work. You know what I'm saying? Or y'all been working on some magic for a long time and it just ain't working. And you're feeling like, what the hell? Maybe you need to just take a step back. Go out, have a good horn. Go out and have a good time. Go out and, and socialize, celebrate, have a drink, let your hair down. You know what I'm saying? Buy you a new outfit, meet somebody. You know what I'm saying? But be very discerning because you know the devil make it look real pretty. And she the one playing the harp. Mm -hmm. So be careful who you indulging with. Oh, no, I'm not going to take it because... Um, yeah, A love the heaters. You could be just a healer. And maybe you're getting some downloads and you're feeling like everything's not working because you're just trying too hard. Sometimes you just gotta take a step back. Do some self-care. I think it's self-care week. Unthinkable. Yeah. Moment of honesty. Look, you just need to take some action to balance yourself out. There's definitely possibilities out there. You're going to need to be strong. But you will have a victory. Look at that. Some of y'all could be worried about money when it comes to your home, like I had said. Maybe your living arrangement. Maybe you're trying to manifest a new home. Maybe where you're staying now is not good. The connection you're in is not working. So, but you have to work on you before you can work on anybody else. You understand what I'm saying? You definitely have to work on you. Look at this. Your creativity. You want a happy home, but you got to walk with spirit. Yeah, you probably a fucking healer. Don't even realize it. Yes, this could be somebody getting married. Maybe you're nervous. Maybe you want to propose. Maybe you want to buy a house. Maybe, you know what I'm saying? Looking at fucking rings. You're trying to figure out what is your best option. What diamond or stone you want. 22, 44, when I said that. What's the, maybe you're looking at the house. Maybe you want to be patient, but you're getting the downloads. Like, oh my God, anticipation is killing me. Yeah. You feel like your hands is tied when it comes to your money. You want to do all these things, but patience is a virtue. All right, let's get one card, Spirit. Yeah, open your heart. Move with love. You have to love on yourself before you can love anybody else genuinely. And that's the divine, 38 is 11. Y'all could be seeing 38. Look, loyal heart. Yeah, it's going to be successful. Look, deep down, you know. 32, 30. It was 23, 32. He's so beautiful. He's way I'm and God forbid, I hope this was not uh, um a candle that... Be careful with those candles in the house and stuff. Because I see the smoke coming out of the chimney and shit. So be careful. A lot of green. Maybe I want to burn a green candle. A green and a yellow candle. Yeah, a lot of heart chakra activity. A lot of creativity. Um, yeah, peace. See, a lot of greens. A lot of um, grounding. You know what I'm saying? Maybe you just need to go outside and ground. Feel like you're going round and round. This is Archangel Raphael helping you open up your heart. Anyway, I'm saying. If you ask me, I'm This could be a proposal. Oh, shit. You're going to give her a green diamond or a yellow diamond. And I'm here for it all. 
should invite me to the wedding. I want to come. Man, I haven't been to a wedding in a long time. You know what's crazy, guys? Because I went on a date with this guy, right? And he invited me to a wedding. <laughs> For our second date, he invited me to a wedding. I thought that was hella odd. But I was like, uh, sure, I'll go. And I was going to go. I legit was going to go. Because I should say, I said, shit, I might go there and meet my husband. <laughs> Baby, I promise. Yes. This could be somebody who is just heartbroken about somebody. And we've been getting this energy, though. But it's definitely a masculine. This same masculine is in here. This could be a new collective. Promise to me. All right. Baby, I promise. Yeah, a lot of fake-ass motherfuckers. They getting karma too. Or you could be feeling like you're getting karma because you were being fake and you weren't loyal. Remember, I did see, I told y'all fraud. I saw the fraud. So they realizing there's a lot of fake people. Um, they were loyal to the wrong ones. All the people around them were not loyal at all. And they feel stuck. There's a lot of conflict and chaos. Or they shadow boxing with themselves. Or this could be school. They could just be deep in their emotions and shit. Or they could have just bought some fake-ass fucking jewelry. I hope you ain't buying her no fake jewelry, yo. Yeah, if you're going to buy her something or you need to... Maybe you bought her some jewelry and it was fake. And you're trying to make it right. Look, 38, 38, y'all could be seeing that. Y'all could be seeing 60. Or maybe y'all just taking off y'all mask. Or both of y'all are in living. This could be a, a already a, a, a situation where y'all in this household and y'all being fake to each other. Y'all putting up Christmas decorations, but y'all heart ain't in this shit. Y'all being fake towards each other. Some of y'all could just be staying together because of stability. It's easier to keep each other. Financially, legally, it would be too much of a legal battle. Y'all can have a seven-year-old, an 11-year-old. Some of y'all could be 38. Or maybe y'all bought a home and y'all don't want to do it no more. <laughs> y'all want to get out. Y'all want to get a divorce possibly. You know what I'm saying? Or, no, I feel like with this, all that glitter shit right here, I'm definitely getting that somebody bought somebody some fake-ass jewelry. Or if you were wondering if you got some fake ass jewelry, yeah, it's not real. Okay? And somebody want to make some shit right. Yeah, somebody want to make it right. So why would we let this thing go? Yeah, somebody could just be promising to go to counseling and, you know, try to work on their heart space to go heal whatever it is that they got going on. Somebody could be doing um, a room, um, acupuncture as well. Excuse me. I see acupuncture in the back, the legs, the ankle. You're the only one I want in my life. Promise everything will be alright. Yeah, this is... um. This could be a mediator too. This could definitely be a mediator. <laughs> yeah, um, yeah, this could just be a home, a family setting. This could go many different ways. Take it how it apply for you. You know what I'm saying? But definitely there's some falseness, some fakeness, some fraudery going on. Or this could be a court case. Somebody was frauding somebody within a home, stealing somebody information. This could have been somebody your ass love. Somebody could have been doing magic on you in order to get this. And then you finding out, like, oh, really, bitch? Yeah, really, motherfucker. Yeah.
You know, y'all possibly weighing y'all truths at this point. Very impartial to the whole situation. Like, mm, I don't know. Maybe you want to prosecute, child. You're like, I'm over this bullshit. Let's see what else we get. Let's just keep going. Big success. Or maybe this person thought they was going to be successful doing this. This could be a, a divorce, too. And you finding out a lot of shit about this person. That they were doing magic on you this whole time. They ain't never really love you. Or flip the roles. You could have thought this person was being fake. But they really did. You know what I'm saying? Enjoy being with you and stuff. Or maybe y'all just having a romantic date. Maybe y'all could be decorating your homes, putting the love back into your relationship, putting the love back into your home. This could just be self-care. You could be in the shower, um, the tub, you know, got you a little um gold sprinkle. Y'all could be doing a gold facial. Oh, those gold facials be the joint. Let me tell you, those gold facials be the truth. You hear what I'm saying? Yeah, you regaining your balance. So this could just be a facial trying to balance out your masculine and feminine taking a spiritual bath because you know this is the time possibly some rose petals some candles you got you a little bit of wine you know what i'm saying you got the fireplace going yeah you just unwind then 24 karat mask they call it this could be a masculine too or y'all could just maybe y'all need to do this have a date night with yourself. <laughs> I date myself all the time. <laughs> every day. Remember I told y'all every single day do something for you. You know? Maybe somebody opened up to y'all in the springtime and had a conversation. And then something occurred. They had an epiphany in the um summertime after they ghosted you a soulmate. And y'all in separation and they having an awakening. This could be that person, divine feminine, who's codependent on your energy. Remember I said it earlier that this, there's a divine masculine who is going fucking crazy because they want to reconcile. They want the joy back. They want the spark back. And they are very concerned on how to get this. And they fighting themselves thinking that they're going to have to compete. But they're fucking fighting themselves. Like they shadow boxing with themselves. They, they, they fight like... Okay, it's, I'm, I keep saying the same thing over. Let's just keep on. Yeah, somebody's doing the shadow work. I told y'all too, like, there's no way you're going to feel complete in a relationship or secure or stable if you don't do that shadow work because every fucking thing that person do going to trigger you. You're going to be like, oh, let me call you back. You're going to be like, why? Are you with somebody? Is she with somebody? Is he with somebody? I'm like, that's fucking annoying. Listen, I had this one guy, right? I had met him and I was like, he just seemed like too pushy too. You know what I'm saying? And I was just like, okay, I'm not that type of person. I don't like to be smothered. I'm not, uh, um, you know, I don't like to be, you know, I like my space. I love my fucking space. I love my me time. Three, 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 three on the clock. I love to be by myself. You feel what I'm saying? And this person, he called me. Mind you, I was sleeping. Um, I was sleeping and I had to go pick up my son a little later on. And he going to call me. Yeah, somebody having an epiphany. He going to call me. I didn't answer. I was like, oh, I'll call him back when I get up. Because I really wanted to get some rest. He going to call me from a different number. Mind you, I have kids out there. So I answered. Oh, you answer from this number, but you ain't answer from when I called you. What the fuck do you want, motherfucker? <laughs> I had to get him together because I was like, yo, I have kids out there. I don't know who this number is. Of course, I'm going to answer it. I was trying to get some rest. But why do I need to explain that to you? But that's insecure. He was like, oh, I feel like you married. You um, you don't want to tell me where you live. Yeah, because you could be crazy, motherfucker. I'm not about to just be divulging information to you. So some of y'all are just sick and tired of being sick and tired and just kind of want your space, but kind of wanting to, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, somebody, y'all feel like somebody stole something for y'all. Yeah, we got that earlier. Somebody was being fake, trying to get some money out of you or stealing your energy, doing magic on you. Yeah, we got this earlier. 
This could have been a kid stealing from you. And the mother was co-signing this shit the whole time. Yeah, this could be a married couple look in divorce. Somebody could be in bad health. Somebody could just be sick within this home and somebody trying to do magic to, you know, help them heal. Yeah, somebody's expecting this. Somebody's expecting this to work. I saw the occupation card. They're getting a letter of some sort about somebody's health or somebody could be sick. This could be that Pisces. Oh, what's this? Touch me, teasing. Ew, nah, nah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, somebody whipped y'all. Somebody's in prison. This mature person is stuck. Because you're getting, so, you getting sudden wealth and a gift. This could be the male getting a message. Somebody who love you. Who you possibly divorce or be in judge or in spiritual jail right now going through it because whatever path he chose to go on it broke his pockets you being held in high honor look, look, look. you're being held in high honor and spirit told you to end this and there's a female within this home who's in a courtship that's going to change a lot of things because they're being immature somebody's in despair over this privileged woman and the journey she's on right now and there's a mature man in bad health at a distance this could be a father figure and somebody was wearing a mask in a relationship and somebody is shocked because they thought this person was official. But they ain't no longer concerned because they about to file some paperwork, bitch. <laughs> you heard me. And there's a wealthy man who working on, or somebody was working on this wealthy man in the community. They were having a discussion. Somebody to work with to get this fortune. But they getting a message of concern because they was expecting some unexpected money or something like that. Yo, this shit could go so many ways. Yeah, there's an end in here. <clears throat> this could be a straight divorce, man. An end into a home. Yeah. This could be a lover. Yeah, it could be a, just a straight divorce, like I said. Or this could be a work situation. Could be losing your job and you don't know how you're going to make ends meet now with this. You just probably put up the decorations. You probably have 11 days to get out. <clears throat> or you have to go to court in 11 days. Possibly on the 11th or the 19th, you have to be at court. And what's today, the 7th? Let me get that. Uh, maybe you feel like this is your karma because you didn't nurture and care and love on things you possibly was just being fake and trying to get over and now karma's kicking your ass the 41 palace y'all some of y'all could be born june 15th y'all could have been with a lover since y'all was 15 y'all could be in separation for the past six years Some of y'all could be seeing 1110. Yeah, y'all working on y'all great fortune. Mm -hmm. Or you working towards this. Yeah, you working on your great fortune. Uh, something ended within a home. Or this could be your job. You could have ended your job and your fortune. <coughs> yeah, you could have got some paperwork that caused you for concerns. I'm trying to tell you. About a gift that somebody gave you or you took that could land you in jail from this main female. Or this could be a main female who took something from somebody and now they're getting some paperwork at their home. Shots fired, yo. The ancestors is on their body and they shocked. They could be being haunted because they didn't know that this person was so official. And them being fake is putting them in poverty. Yeah, it's going to be too hard of a work. It's going to be too hard to look. 38, 37, the decline. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah, somebody get an epiphany. They have to heal their ways. Or they possibly was going into these relationships, whether it be family, friend, foe, or... And just trying to get over on people. Love bombing them, gaslighting them and shit. And had no intentions on doing right by them. And it ended their fortune. It changed their fate. Remember I told you um, destinies are fluid. You see what I'm saying? Being impartial and weighing on your truths and shit. Like, come on. You have to be truthful to yourself. The love starts within. Maybe a lot of people seen that you were masking and being fake. You know what I'm saying? Or you could have just always been in the house and shit. Doing magic on people when you should have been healing and you catching an epiphany. Like, all of this shit is ending because I wasn't true to myself. This person don't want to be with me because I was being fake. It wasn't other people around me. It was me. I was the one who wasn't loyal. And I had a good person. I had good friends. I had good family. You know what I'm saying? Some of y'all could be very intuitive. I hear Frank. I hear Cindy. I hear Martha. Francis. Charles. Octavia. Gretchen. Eunice. You, Eunice. You, you Lisa, something like that. Tell me or maybe somebody went into something thinking that it was going to bring them all this wealth and some ended. Somebody could have had a heart attack. God forbid it could have been a fire. Somebody could have got exposed. All right, so I'll just take those two. And look, somebody was being an asshole. <laughs> Hope this wasn't you. Oh, it's already done. Ooh, instant backfire. Wow. Mm. Yeah, and that shit sent you into a deep period of shadow, that epiphany. Remember, I told y'all, y'all could have been working that magic or you're finding out tower moment. Yeah, this is definitely a tower. Somebody was definitely being fake, love bombing somebody or change the course of the direction for everything. They learning a lesson of being truthful and real. Somebody's definitely in hermit going through with y'all. Mm-hmm. Yeah, they taking accountability for their past ways, baby. Ooh, it's getting juicy. Mm -hmm. Wow. You put out more good karma than bad, and that's what you're going to get. I told you you're going to attract what you give. If you keep going out there, and then that's the thing. You can't be doing good people wrong because you're just going to catch it back, especially when the person but person is being good to you. And I noticed that, you know what, sometimes we can't fault these people, but and we think they should know better. But there's a lot of people walking around child mentality in an adult body. You see me? Mm-hmm. And if they knew better, they would do better. But some of them do be knowing and they still do wrong. So it's like, what did you expect? You're going to get exactly what you're giving and you going around doing somebody wrong. That's where I got the whole Date Doctor series from. Because it's like all these guys, not all these guys, but you know, all these people I meet. And it's like you healing them for them to go heal the karmic. Although those are their lessons they have to learn. See what I'm saying? And then they go over there and everything you taught them, they sit there and try to heal that person for them just to realize that ain't the person for you. You feel what I'm saying? The one who, you see what I'm saying? How many drinks? Yeah, this person probably was love bombing people out here 
um, you know, love bombing people, saying whatever, just to get in their drawers and shit, or vice versa, or get up in their home, you know, push their way in so they could live off these people, and it went bad. I'm telling you, they tried an earth angel. Yes, they did. You are very much so high ranking. You are very a high possession, high ranking in the spirit realm. And you was genuinely trying to work with this person. Helping this person grow. Trying to help this person change their ways. And honey, they was doing this. Possibly the whole time wearing a mask, the whole situation. Or well, this could be you. And you're realizing, you're seeing yourself. You're looking in the mirror. You're taking a good look. You're seeing how toxic, how devilish you were. You know what I'm saying? You didn't use your intuition. You didn't think that anything was going to happen to you. It's like you manifested these endings into your life. Because of how you were, your, your behavior. Damn. Look, it's already done. You could be in spiritual deal. You could be getting judged harshly. Yo. Yeah, you could be getting judged in your finances. Um, and mind you, this could just be somebody who finally met somebody. The earth angel. And they didn't think that they were going to fall for this person like this. And they fell hard. They fell fucking hard. Look, they want to work it out, but they took such a long time. And they've been dedicated to working on this person. And when they should have been dedicated to work on their heart chakra to open it up and heal. This person could have been a workaholic. This person could like a lot of gold. This person needed a definite transformation. Or they transform it. They trans they're having a transformation now. Like it's already done. They went right into shadow mode. They possibly in hermit mode. Some of these people could be in rehab. They could just have bad addiction. Some some of them could just be addicted to um some type of harsh drug because when i see this this is like when you lighten the light of like some hard ass drugs i don't even know what that is what is that meth or something like that or they could be addicted to weed or they could just be addicted to money shopping yeah these people are stuck but they are definitely being enlightened Yep, they enlightened why this ended, why this love is no more. Because they ain't have the strength and the courage. Mm. Fire signs out here. Scorpio energy out here. Fire sign again. This could be a um Scorpio Sagittarius cuss. Some of y'all could have been born on the 16th of November. The 19th. Some of y'all could be 34, 26. Some of y'all could be born on the, the 7th of November. The 26th of November. Both y'all birth, birthday could be on Thanksgiving. Some of y'all could be doing love spells. <laughs> oh, look, look at that. Somebody, yeah, somebody was in love with money. Secretly. A king of cups. Mm-hmm. 
Yep. Obsessed with money. Ten of Pentacles. Ace of Cups. That's what I got from that. Let's get some of these and get out of here. Some of y'all could be wearing a lot of greens and reds and gold and brown, brown and gold. Yeah, five of pentacles. <laughs> what I said. Mm-hmm. Losing everything. Yeah, somebody could be getting put out the house, too. So I'm going to take this one. Ten of cups. Ten of pentacles out the house. Yeah. Look, five of cups. What did I say? I told you somebody getting put out the house. They losing their stability. They worried. They are stuck in their head right now. Mm -hmm. We'll work for food. They could be depressed. Living out their car. They only have five pentacles. They still putting on face. Like, you know, I said that though. What was that yesterday? They know exactly why all of this is happening to them. They going crazy. I saw the 730 card. I told you I saw the five of wands. And y'all, some of them could be, some of y'all could be seeing five, five, five. Look, 87, 15. Uh, 19, that's 10. Their fortune is ending. Their life is already done. Whatever they were trying to do, they 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 caught up to the right one. They probably yo. Yeah. Whoever they did this to, this could have been a um sister. I'm trying to tell you, this could have been a sister who came in between a, a, a couple. Or this could be a two brothers. There's some type of family dynamic here. Because the home card. And this is like the three of pentacles to me. The community card. The occupation. So yeah. It ended their stability. Their, their home life. Their family. Their work situation. Their collaborations. Their associations. Their fortune. Their money. Whatever it was. And they probably trying to manifest. I said this though. They trying to manifest somebody back or manifest. You know what I'm saying? Just a piece of fucking mind. But they need to open up their heart and heal that. Because all that fake shit is only just going to bring them more karma. And every time they try to do that shit, it's instantly backfires. Damn. What y'all got going on, collective? Yeah. Maybe somebody needs some money. Yeah, they need some money. They're trying to work anywhere right now. Some of y'all could be waiters. I see um therapists out here, like physical therapy. Yeah, they really trying to balance out their money and their work right now. They want equal give and take. They're trying to get a handout, donations. They probably going to food banks, um, shelters where they give you um you know, like the food drives and stuff, or this could be just y'all collective just going there now. Like maybe your money's a little short and y'all go get the little community handout stuff. 53, 55 on the clock. Some of y'all could be seeing 8, 10 a lot too. That's non completion. Yeah. Y'all putting y'all pride to the side and y'all gonna have to start going within the community to get some help. They call it a, a food pantry. That's what I kept saying. I said the food bank. Yeah, same thing. Because it's possibly tight. Christmas is coming. You know? Some of y'all having to kill that ego, man. Some of y'all thought y'all was a hot commodity or like y'all thought y'all was on top of the world and spirit was like, nope, let me bump you off your high horse. Because you tried the wrong one. Let's see what this is. Yeah, ten of wands. Gonna have to move forward, burden and all. Still pushing through though, but yeah, some of y'all gonna have to move or 
Go stay in the shelter and y'all have to leave every single day and hide in y'all stuff. Y'all can't really sleep. Y'all can't study. This could be school and work. Maybe you took up a course and that shit is fucking stressful, man. It's like you don't have enough time in the day to even catch your damn breath. And you knew this shit was going to be a rocky road, but it just seemed like it's more overwhelming than you realize. You realizing why it's so much of a burden. It's like everything is happening all at the same time. It go from five, six to ten. Like the escalation, I'm telling you, it, 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 it escalated quick. That's what I'm saying. It could have been a fight in the house. It could have been a fight in the house. Because somebody's like, you don't love me. You don't want to be with me. Right? You don't really want to be with me. Now they want a divorce. And somebody left somebody out in the cold. And it's like, or somebody just got with somebody for, for stability. You know, survival, like I had said before. People out here just surviving. They not really um living. They surviving. Which I get it, but you should be able to sustain yourself. Before you jump into a relationship because you're just going to build more karma because your in your intentions was not legit. People don't realize that. They don't call me the date doctor for nothing. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I've learned, man. When I tell you I have learned and I'd rather be by my damn self before I let anybody come in and fuck that up for me. I could cause my own headache, my own peace. I don't need no help. Okay, when it comes to neither. Okay, I've been by myself for a long time to know when somebody come in, if they decide they want to go, I, I, there's a door. Go ahead. You know what I'm saying? I can't stop you. I'm telling you, I have learned, yo. Once you have learned to sit with yourself, you're your best company. You're your best counsel. When you learn to trust yourself, conquer all those fears. I'm telling you, once you let that fear go, I know it's easier said than done, but if I told y'all some stuff that I done been through, y'all gonna be like, wow. I done did it by myself. I damn near had all my kids by myself because I refused to stay with somebody who was gonna cheat on me, okay? And then if you gonna cheat on me when I'm fucking pregnant, oh, hell no, nigga. You definitely got to roll out. You <laughs> see it? You got to roll out. I'm going to take care of these kids by my goddamn self. You hear what I'm saying? You best believe it. You better motherfucking believe it. You know what I'm saying? More money, more problems. Yeah. And then they see you elevating. And then they, they, it's like they want to plot and plan on, on you. Like, oh, yeah, single mother. Let me get up in there. No, motherfucker. Mm -mm. When I was struggling, me and my kids had to struggle by ourselves. Why should you come and reap the benefits when, you know what I'm saying? But I've learned people. I've studied people. I see how people move. But I also have worked on myself to know what I want and what I don't want and what I'm going to accept and what I'm not. And best believe I'm not accepting nothing and I'm not settling. I'm not settling to be nobody's side chick. I'm not settling to be nobody fling. I'm not going to, man, listen to this shit, right? I go to the supermarket and there's this guy in there. He's a, a retired um um marine. So he was like he's an engineer in the daytime and then he come and work at you know the supermarket at night. You know, he got his little badge and shit. He's some boxing dude, real heavyweight, you know. He showed me his his rings and all this stuff. And mind you, I'm in the supermarket shopping, food shopping. He talking to me, yeah, communication. We talking and talking and talking. Come to find out, he was like, I like you. I said, really? Mm, that's nice. I said, what you like? He was like, I just like your, you know, how you carry yourself, your demeanor, your presence. You, you have good energy. And I was like, thank you. Then he, you ready for this? This nigga said, I want to be your sugar daddy. I said, what that mean? <laughs> what does that mean? Okay. Once he said that, y'all, I was just like, nigga, you don't have enough sugar for me to, you know what I'm saying? Please. I already see where this is going. Uh-uh. You see what I'm saying? He seemed like a decent guy, though, but I'm good. You want to be my sugar daddy? 
What is a sugar daddy? I don't even know what that means. But I'm pretty sure you don't have enough to give me what I need. You know what I'm saying? I mean, maybe he do, but I'm not interested. How many other people do you... And then it's crazy because he's there walking around talking to me. And there was this girl who came in there and she keep walking through the damn aisles. Every time, it's like she wanted to speak to him, but he wasn't even paying her no mind. And I said, how many other women come in here and you tell them you want to be their sugar daddy? I'm good. Yeah, what are you hiding? You know what I'm saying? I'm like, what are you hiding? Uh-uh. A lot of secrets, a lot of emotions, a lot of shit hidden, a lot of hurts. Y'all need to do the shadow work. Go down deep in the depths of your soul to figure out why you have to walk around and do people like this. You know? Man, I can make my own headache for myself, y'all. And I ain't too bougie, and I ain't too this, and I ain't too proper and prim, but I know what I want. Look. And I'm telling you, I will cut your ass off in a heartbeat. I don't give a damn if I'm pregnant or not. I'm leaving your ass. Okay? I'm leaving your ass. You're not going to be cheating on me and I'm going to be staying with you. Hell fucking no. You know how many fucking men are in this world? Bitch, come on. <laughs> That's why I'm like, people be settling. Look. I know my fucking worth. You feel me? And y'all need to know y'all worth too, whether male or female. Do you know how many people is in this world? Do you see how big that ocean is? The opportunity that is out there. You see how many boats and all them boats is going to a different destination or coming from somewhere. You know how many different cultures there are to learn. Please listen here. Y'all have to do the work, people. You have to do the work. Even if you need to go talk to somebody. A lot of time. That's why I be trying to give y'all homework and stuff. Because I want y'all to heal. I want y'all to grow. I'm not just sitting on here for no reason. I was let to come on here and tell y'all how I did it. Or how I'm making it. Or just be of encouragement. You see what I'm saying? I'm not here to bring nobody down. And that's the problem. I always try to help people who don't want to be helped. And that's why I said, okay, Spirit, like, go on there and do it. You know how long they've been telling me to come on here? Till they started breaking my ass down to a pound. You feel me? They was like, you taking too damn long to go do what the fuck we told you to do. Okay? You keep taking too long. You want to go do other business ventures when we told you where to go to get your wish fulfillment, right? Listen, you the real magician in this bitch. Okay? You the real magician, but you keep trying to invest in all the wrong places and taking too long to go to where we tell you to go. Yeah, and they ended that shit for me. When I tell you they broke my ass down to a pound, I was like, see, I can definitely make my own headache. I don't need no help. And they did. They sat my ass all the way down. Okay, they sat me all the way down. Yeah, a lot of stuff. Some of y'all could be a cancer. What is this? That's a spider. Y'all could be seeing spiders. Some of y'all is embarrassed, yo. Some of y'all definitely embarrassed. Some of y'all could just be going by the water at nighttime. And y'all know everything is ending now. These cycles are definitely closing now. You have to really do the work. You got to get deep down in the depths of your soul. If you want this empress or if you want to become this empress, you're going to have to do the work. Nobody going to hand you nothing. You're going to have to work for that shit. You're going to have to work for it. And once you start working on you, things will change. You stop getting that type of energy. Everything is going like spirit. I told y'all everything was backfiring on me until I was like, okay, let me stop playing around. Let me stop playing around. Okay. I had to do the work too. Like everybody else. There was times when I thought I was healed too. Okay. And my person done did some shit to me and I wigged out on his ass. I was like, why did you act like that? Kalina? I wigged out on him. I ain't even going to hold you. I wigged out on him. I ain't fight him or nothing, but I was mad. He knew I was mad, too. 
I, and I was just like, I'm fucking done. This is done and over with. Only God from the heavens could come down and tell me to get back with you. That nigga was like, oh my God. <laughs> yeah, you better call him. Call him. Yeah. So let me tell you, we all on this journey together. But I have done my work. I have definitely. And certain little things like that lady yesterday, y'all. I wanted to get her. I wanted to get her so bad. <laughs> but yeah, like for what, Kalina? She's like ugh, another troll that needs some attention. Like, uh-uh, for what? Please block her. <laughs> block a block a block a block a block. Boop. Block. <laughs> Go watch that video on the community board. I ain't finna be playing and arguing with nobody on this channel. This is my shit. Okay? <laughs> so I promise you. We is a positive vibes only. People take things too literal sometimes. Okay? Whatever you put your energy into, that's what's gonna manifest for you. And I'm like, out of that whole fucking reading, you had to take the negative out of what I said. When I was just stating what the fuck was the facts and how I was feeling on the situation. What I was feeling from the fucking cards. You're going to take that. And then try to throw a jab at me. Bitch, I know who the fuck I am. Okay? I don't need you to tell me. I know who I am. That's why I'm on here. <laughs> Get your own shit. Okay? Then you can regulate on somebody else's shit. You crazy. Mm-mm. Yeah, come on now. That's the problem. People don't know who they are. They feel like they need validation or they feel like you need validation in order to. No, I know who the fuck I am. And you know what's so crazy? This whole Empress shit, right? Look at Empress. I've been calling myself Empress since Mind Space days. You remember Mind Space? Okay. I've been on this Empress wave. So now when people be like, oh, everybody out here calling themselves Empress, bitch, I was an original. I only do original shit. I don't have to copy nobody. I don't have to be on nobody wave. I was an Empress way before my e I had AOL with the Empress in there as my tag. Till this day, AOL, all of that. You know what I'm saying? So for these people to sit here and try to act like they're going to try to make you feel some type of way, about who the fuck you know you are because they ain't did they shadow work they have an endings it's all a matter of projection do better be better self-care once you conquer that fear these people can't stand a chance they could try look at terry cruz 50 cent was trying to get on his back because it was like oh a man touched your private you not going to fight him? And he was like, uh, fucking no. Because first of all, he was so shocked it occurred. Right? First, it was shocked that it occurred. And second, look, he's a big good dude. They were expecting him to be like that as a black man. You feel what I'm saying? So automatically, they already set him up for failure. So now he go beat this man to a pulp. And what happened? He lose his whole career, everything, because what? He couldn't control his fucking emotions? No. Fuck that. And he took it to court. This is what I'm saying. Beat them pockets. Stop putting your hands on people. Learn how to control your emotions. And all aspects of your life will change. I guarantee you start today. Start today. I told you, however you address people, that's how it's going to be the outcome for how you, 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 you move. And this person, the intentions is everything. When you intentionally come into some shit wrong, you, you, this is how you're going to leave. Just like this. Mm -hmm. Look, look. 10, 10, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5. Okay? Mm hmm. Music, music. Yeah. And that's why people don't, people be like, oh, Kalina, you think you're better than everybody. I actually, I really don't. I'm the most humblest person you ever meet. And people confuse um, confidence with cockiness. Okay? I'm very humble. Very much so. I don't have to prove shit to nobody. I am not no get back. 
queen. I'm not on no Petty Murphy type shit. I will bow out gracefully and leave your ass there. And then that's people be like, oh, she thinks she all of that. She ain't said nothing. She just left. No, motherfucker. You want me to say something? I'm not going to say nothing. I have to care enough. You know what I'm saying? And even then, it's just like, bitch, I don't care enough. Like, leave me alone. You know what I'm saying? I got my own fucking problems. I don't want to hear it. I don't need no extra sauce on nothing. Mm -hmm. That's why when that lady came. <sighs> why? Come on, negative Nancy. You took all of that. You didn't take no positivity out of that. You took all the negative. Girl, bye. You need some attention. I'm going to give you a little five minutes. Okay, and then I'm going to block your ass. Block a block a block a boop block. <laughs> okay yeah we earth angels out here we don't have time so for whoever this may be you're gonna have to start over my dear okay you're gonna have to commit yourself back to spirit catch this karma balance the scales and this could be a legal situation too somebody money could be froze up in some shit or they delayed their own damn case because of you know what i'm saying their activities, extracurricular activities, love you down. So, yeah, guys, let's close out. And um, it never did matter that much to me. Truth deck. Let's get some truth deck. Some of y'all could be very beautiful. Some of y'all could eat a lot of green and wheat and stuff. Some of y'all could be growing wheat. Some of y'all could be farmers. I see this big, um, some of y'all could be morticians, models, those mind people when you're on the street and you see them. They look like a statue, but they um be moving and shit. <laughs> some of y'all could be explorers. Some of y'all could be guardsmen. Some of y'all could just um, be designers, school teachers. We, 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 sent, we, we got this, though. Some of y'all could just be spiritualists. Some of y'all could make candles for healing, protection candles for the home, money rituals. Some of y'all could be doing that on the full moon now. Some of y'all could be doing beauty, um, beauty oils and stuff. Some of y'all could be chefs, caterers. Some of y'all looking for work because y'all karma kicking y'all ass. But y'all going to be all right. Y'all just have to do the work. Y'all have to realize where y'all went wrong and correct it. It's all about correction. It's all about learning. And I'm telling you, the minute you learn, the minute you catch the lesson, I, it's like instantly. Instantly it will happen. Instantly. You know what I'm saying? Yo, remember how I kept saying this damn hidden in plain sight was coming out crazy. Hidden in plain sight, hidden in plain sight was kept coming out. I'm like, I don't know what y'all need to see. Let me tell y'all. I found something last night, right? I found something last night and I was like, spirit, is this what y'all been trying to tell me? And sure enough. The hidden in plain sight came in reverse and the loss came in reverse. So that means you found what was hidden instantly. It was so crazy. I'm telling y'all the moon tomorrow. I don't even know what's it, what it's in, but I'm going to do a reading for it too. A lot of y'all, um, yeah, going through the motions, feeling it. Look, relationships are going to improve and some of y'all don't want to hear it. That's why y'all going to keep going through this shit. Y'all think I'm blowing smoke up y'all ass. I don't need to blow smoke up nobody ass. See? Some of them, y'all, a lot of y'all desire real connection, but y'all have to do the work. Look, happy outcome in the reverse. Because you need to be honest. And trust. This person is not going to return to you in this type of energy. Because you're low vibrational. And you keep, look, you don't want to repeat the past. Look, you have to love yourself. Self-care. Remember, we all were, listen. Let me love you down. Look, just put love back into, put love back into the situation. Let's 
Some of y'all could be um models, wedding dress models. Some of y'all could be in Thailand. Some of y'all could um be traveling to an island like to, to the um Amazon. Some of y'all could be on the water right now. Somebody don't want to say goodbye. Some of y'all is on a road trip. Yeah, cleanse your energy. Let me cut it. Let's see what. Yeah, you're going to get some exciting news because you're starting to see clear that all these temptations and toxicity and being bound to the devil, this is what's bringing you all this fucking bad karma. Change up your ways. See, look at that. Some of y'all seeing. Maybe some of y'all just needed this message and y'all gonna unsubscribe. Yeah, that's definitely the truth. You see what I'm saying? Some of y'all gonna get a phone call. That's gonna change everything. Because once you realize like, oh shit, this is what was been holding me back. This is what has been occurring. Now I understand why. But I'm, I told you a lot of y'all was is knowing. Y'all, the epiphany right here. And then I'm giving you extra confirmation and sauce on it. Like, okay. Just walk it off. You know what I'm saying? Can't get any more. If you're playing me, keep it on the low. Mm -hmm. I don't wanna know. Yeah. Some of y'all hurt. Y'all could be finding out this person. This could be male or female, but I was picking up more of a masculine energy. But this could be a female too going through this. A lot of females, they do it too. They act like they love these men and have these babies and stuff. And they just looking for stability. I told you survival. It's a survival of the fittest. Yeah. A lot of them don't want to be mothers. That's why you see them and then the, the person, the, the father always have the kid. And then they end up wanting a divorce because they need help with the child. And this chick just want to be lally gagging, parlay. Yeah, they choosing them first. You know what I'm saying? Somebody could be checking y'all social media. Yeah, they weighing their options. You weigh your options now because you got to do better. And I promise you, once you realize you're going to have a new lifestyle once you start loving yourself. Okay, look, hidden agenda in the reverse. So you getting it. You getting the clarity. Like the intentions, baby, it's all about intentions. Yeah. Last card to close out and be gone. Y'all have a good day. Bless up on the self. Do a little self-care. And see shit. Yeah, stop being fucking immature. Immature emotions. What's this? Yeah, romance in, is yours. Yeah, put some romance back into you. Take yourself out on a date. Self-care. Do some self-care today. Do some reflection. Do some purging. Do some crying. Do some healing. You know what I'm saying? If you felt led to apologize to whoever these people are, do it. Whether they receive it or not. Even if you just send a message and leave it and they'll find it when they find it if they have you blocked. But something has to change. That's the only way your finance is going to change. Your work, whatever you're working on, your stability, your home, whatever it is, your health, your wealth, whatever. That's how you're going to be fulfilled emotionally is by you doing the work. Stop waiting. Okay? You made a choice. You know what it is. But look, you still got the three swords still in the front. Like you still have some options. Make a choice. Make a choice. Make a decision. Okay? Keep it on the low. So somebody's definitely waiting. And it's time to go. Make a move. Maybe you want to go towards the empress. Maybe all you need to do is just apologize. And it might change the dynamics of the whole situation. So Empress, she'll know, or he'll know, depending on his energy. This person will definitely know. They'll feel it. Mm -hmm. They'll definitely feel it. 
If they're an empath, most, you know, high priestess are empaths. They can tell. They're going to see your ass coming before you even come anyway. So they know you're coming. You want something to change. They want to have a rebirth. You've been trying to manifest this person, whether male or female. Manifest this opportunity and work. Manifest this travel. Manifest this home. Manifest this love. You know, possibly trying to manifest a, a, a favorable outcome in court. You getting it. You realizing like it start within you. If you keep thinking negative, positive, pessimistic, of course it's going to turn out how it's going to turn out. You know what I'm saying? Got to speak life over yourself, man. We say certain things. Yeah, words are very powerful. But we know the intention behind it. When you just say something, yeah. But when you put intention behind it, that's when it manifests like that. So, in a negative way. When you put negative attentions behind it. But if you're going through it, go, go through it. If Yeah, some of y'all could be going through it. But if you go into it with a positive mindset... It will all turn out good, always. If you're being honesty is key, open up. Because trust me, you could be having a conversation and you can feel when a person lying and you can feel when they're telling the truth and you can feel when they, you know what I'm saying? Being real. I ain't mad at you. Yeah, this person ain't mad at you. I just said that. Sometimes you just need to apologize. That's Tupac, look. I ain't mad at you. Brother, mm, mm, mm -hmm. This could be somebody you went to school with. This could be a childhood friend. You know what I'm saying? You definitely... um. Mm. This is somebody who could be at a distance too. That you want to travel towards. I ain't mad at you. This person could be across the world. Somebody could live up in the mountains. And somebody could live in the city area, in a, you know, a rural area, like on a farm type setting. Mm -hmm. There's definitely a body of water separating y'all. Whether that mean a bridge or, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It's still water. You could just be like New York to New Jersey. That That's still a distance. You know what I'm saying? It don't have to be across the world. It could just be literally like a state. You know what I'm saying? Or this could be, um, yeah. Just move forward. And sometimes it's all how you perceive your, your, your tower. You know what I'm saying? How you weigh, that, weigh your options as far as how you're going to move through this situation. If you're going to be mad, then of course it's going to be even fucking harder. But if you be like, my man, shit, I brought it on myself and I'm going to have to eat this one. Eat that ass up. You got to eat that L. Eat it. You know what I'm saying? All them other people that you was, look, all them other people that you was getting over on, kid in an adult body. Karma. It has to be done. A lot of y'all could be in no contact. Yeah, I saw exposed, no contact because this person was doing hella strange things. This person could be crazy, like I said, and you block them or they're blocking you and they've been blocking you since January. Or maybe they're going to unblock you in January. Maybe once the new year starts, they're going to figure like, you know. That's what I'm saying. Send a message. If they unblock you in um January, then look. Just call. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, this you were deceptive and manipulative. Yeah, because you wanted the money. Trying to tell y'all. Going in there with bad intentions is just going to leave you in some shit. Now your ass is obsessed because this person is happy without you and you're not happy with yourself. I ain't mad at you. Some of y'all could be drugging. Yeah, this person was a whole vibe for you. Mad at you. You were being greedy. Yeah, because of temptation. Look at that. Working through it. Go through it. New subscribers, like, share, and subscribe. Thank you for stopping by. This is what we do around here. We work through it. No matter how bad it may seem. So 
Sometimes you need to take a hard look at yourself in the mirror and realize, yo, I am the fuck up. I need to change. I need to start over and start talking more to God. Okay? A lot of y'all could just have contracts out here. Some of y'all waiting on a, a contract or a judgment from the courts and you delaying it because you need to choose you first. And it will be a favorable outcome. You will get it because you're going to start seeing clearly that you were the fucking toxic one. You was bound to the fucking devil. And if you want this new lifestyle, you're going to have to start weighing some options, honey. And start loving up on yourself. Cleansing your energy. Put the love back into you. Okay? And if you are masculine, you, start, you need to start nurturing yourself. Caring for yourself. Investing in yourself. Okay? Be fair. Give equal, give and take. Face makes me wanna sing every time I hear you Crazy. Oh, my lady. This could be a man. Like I've been saying, Empress, somebody wanna have equal give and take with you, and they at a distance. Like, how am I gonna get this opportunity? I've been hiding my feelings for so long. <laughs> this person is burdened because they were being fake. My lady. They opening up their heart. They try to manifest this love, baby. They want to come to you house to have a rebirth. This coffin card, they, they don't want this to end. They money kind of fucked up. They possibly lost their job. Or they thought our opportunity was what it was, but that shit was just fake. It wasn't a real opportunity, and they couldn't see that because their intentions weren't good. Girl, you are the love of my life, baby. Oh, yes. Mm -hmm. I belong to you. I belong. I give all my love to you. Yeah, they trying to manifest y'all for real. Mm-hmm. Yes, y'all. All right, I'm going to see y'all later. Have a good day. Love up on yourself. Do the work. Heal. Go through the motions. Purge. Cry. Write in your journal. Write a note to yourself. Know what I'm saying? Every week you write a note to yourself on what you want to change, how you want to change. Write the pros and the cons and how you've been, you know, write down who you need to apologize to. Or, you know, write down if you can't apologize to them, do that shit in spirit. Write it down and then burn it. The full moon is tomorrow. Chop, chop. Or maybe you just want to express yourself to somebody and let them know, like, look. I like you. I want to be with you. I'm sorry. Can we try to work this out and start the friendship over? You got to start all over. We saw it. Seven of Pentacles. You have to start over. Plant new seeds. And only time will tell. Peace.